How much do you really know about Moringa, often dubbed the Tree of Life? This humble plant, with its slender branches and delicate leaves, has been making waves in the world of health and nutrition, and for good reason. Originating from the southern foothills of the Himalayas in India, Moringa olifera, as it's scientifically known, has been revered for thousands of years. Across Asia and Africa, it has served as a vital source of nutrition and healing, earning it the moniker of the Miracle Tree. Its resilience in the face of harsh conditions and its ability to provide sustenance even in barren landscapes is perhaps why it's called the Tree of Life. In the modern age, Moringa's reputation as a superfood is gaining traction but what does this mean? Well a superfood is essentially a nutrient powerhouse packed with vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and other beneficial compounds that boost health and wellness. Moringa fits the bill perfectly. Its leaves are teeming with a rich array of nutrients including vitamin C, calcium, potassium, and a host of essential amino acids. But that's not all. The plant is also an excellent source of protein, making it a valuable food source for vegetarians and vegans. And then there are the health benefits. Moringa doesn't just nourish the body, it heals and protects it too. Scientific research has shed light on six key benefits of this miraculous plant. It's incredibly nutritious, rich in antioxidants, helps lower blood sugar levels, reduces inflammation, lowers cholesterol, and may even offer protection against arsenic toxicity. Every part of the Moringa tree is edible and beneficial, from the leaves and seeds to the root and bark. However, it's the leaves that are most often used, and one of the most convenient ways to consume them is in powdered form. With such a powerful nutritional punch it's no wonder people are seeking ways to incorporate Moringa into their diets. One of the most popular methods is through Moringa powder. Before we can make Moringa powder, we need to understand the tree it comes from and how to properly harvest it. The Moringa tree, also known as the Miracle Tree or Tree of Life, is a wonder of nature. Native to the Indian subcontinent, this resilient tree thrives in a variety of climates, from hot, dry regions to tropical settings. It's a fast-growing, drought-resistant tree, recognized for its slender, droopy branches adorned with trypanate leaves. These leaves are the star of the show, packed with an impressive array of nutrients. They are an excellent source of protein, vitamin B6, vitamin C, riboflavin, and iron, just to name a few. But beyond being nutrient-dense, these leaves also carry a myriad of health benefits, from reducing inflammation to lowering cholesterol levels and blood sugar. Now let's talk about the harvesting process. The ideal time to harvest Moringa leaves is just before the plant starts to flower. This is when the leaves are at their nutritional peak. Harvesting too early or too late can compromise the quality and nutritional content of the leaves. When it comes to selecting the leaves you want to look for vibrant green ones that are fresh and firm to the touch. Avoid any leaves that are yellowing or show signs of insect damage. The younger leaves tend to be more tender and flavorful, making them a preferred choice for many. Harvesting Moringa leaves is a simple process. Using a sharp pair of gardening shears, cut the leafy branches off the tree. Once you have your branches, you can easily strip the leaves off by running your hand along the stem. Remember to handle the leaves gently to avoid bruising them. After harvesting it's important to rinse the leaves thoroughly under running water to remove any dirt or insects. Now that you have your fresh Moringa leaves, you're ready to start the process of transforming them into a versatile and nutritious powder. The first step in making Moringa powder is preparing the leaves. Now this isn't just about plucking them off the tree and tossing them into a grinder. No, it's a careful process that ensures we're preserving the incredible nutritional value of these powerhouse leaves. Start by washing the leaves. This might seem like a no-brainer but it's an important step in ensuring that your Moringa powder is pure and free from any external contaminants. Simply rinse the leaves under cool running water. You could also place them in a bowl of water and gently swish them around to remove any dirt or debris. Next, it's time to inspect the leaves. As you do this, be sure to remove any stems or discolored leaves. While the stems of the Moringa plant do contain nutrients, they can make your powder gritty and less pleasant to consume. And those discolored leaves? They could be a sign of disease or pest damage and you definitely don't want them ending up in your final product. Once you've sorted through your leaves it's time to dry them. This is a crucial step, as any remaining moisture can lead to mold growth during storage, which is a big no-no. Lay the leaves out in a single layer on a clean dry towel or paper towels. Leave them in a well-ventilated area out of direct sunlight and allow them to air dry naturally. Depending on the humidity in your area, this could take anywhere from a few hours to a full day. Remember patience is key here. 
you want the leaves to be completely dry before moving on to the next step. This might seem like a lot of work but trust me, the effort you put into preparing the leaves will pay off in the quality of your moringa powder. With your leaves clean and dry you're ready to move on to the drying process. Drying the leaves is a crucial step in the process of making moringa powder. This phase is a game changer as it ensures the leaves can be ground into a fine powder. But it's not just about reaching the right consistency, drying also helps to preserve the leaves' nutritional value, allowing you to reap the numerous health benefits of moringa. Now there are several methods to dry moringa leaves, each with its own merits. Let's delve into a few. First, air drying. This is the simplest and most economical method. All you need is a clean dry space with ample ventilation. Spread the leaves out in a thin layer on a flat surface, and let nature do its work. However, this method may take a few days depending on your local climate. Next we have sun drying. This method harnesses the power of the sun to speed up the drying process. The leaves are spread out in direct sunlight and the heat does the heavy lifting. But remember, too much direct sunlight can degrade some of the nutrients so, choose a spot with dappled sunlight or opt for early morning or late afternoon sunning. Lastly, there's oven drying. This method is the quickest, but it requires careful monitoring. Set your oven to the lowest setting, usually around 100 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Place the leaves on a baking sheet and let them dry for about 2 to 3 hours. Be sure to check them frequently to prevent burning. Regardless of the method you choose, the key is to ensure the leaves are completely dry. Moisture is the enemy here, as it can lead to mold and spoil your moringa leaves. You'll know they're ready when they crumble easily between your fingers. Once your leaves are thoroughly dried, you're just one step away from your homemade moringa powder. But remember, the journey to health doesn't end here. It's not just about the process but also about the commitment to a healthier lifestyle. So, let's keep going, shall we? The final step in making moringa powder is grinding the dried leaves. This process is crucial as it determines the texture and quality of your moringa powder. There are several ways to grind the leaves, each with its unique advantages. First, the old-fashioned but tried-and-true mortar and pestle. This method may require a bit more elbow grease, but it allows you to control the fineness of the powder. By grinding the leaves slowly and thoroughly, you can ensure that all the nutrients are preserved. If you prefer a more modern approach, a grinder or food processor can be used. This method is quick and efficient, making it ideal for those who are short on time. However, be sure not to overdo it. Grinding the leaves too much can generate heat, which could potentially degrade the nutrients. Once the leaves are ground into a fine powder, it's all about storage. Proper storage is key to maintaining the potency of your moringa powder. Store the powder in an airtight container, preferably glass, to keep out moisture and sunlight. A cool, dark cupboard is an ideal storage location. The powder can be kept for up to six months, but remember, the fresher it is, the more potent its health benefits. And there you have it, your very own homemade moringa powder. So, in a nutshell, that's how you turn fresh moringa leaves into a nutritious powder. A simple process, yet it yields a powerhouse of nutrients. Moringa, packed with antioxidants, has been known to lower blood sugar levels, reduce inflammation, and even protect against arsenic toxicity. Its versatility means it can be incorporated into your meals or taken as a supplement. By making your own Moringa powder, you're not just creating a superfood supplement, you're also embracing a healthier lifestyle. Thank you for tuning in and remember good health